Kenya. Kenyan representing sexually exploited tea laborers found dead. A social activist involved in the recent sexual exploitation case on two British tea farms in Kenya died on Friday, March 24, 2023. The chairman of the Justice and Environment Foundation, Dr. Godfrey Onyango, was found unresponsive by his family in the sitting room of his home in Lynette, Nakuru County, after collapsing at approximately 5.30 p.m. According to the Nation Media Group, Onyango's younger brother, Boya Onyango, said he did not have any visible injuries. He said, quote, I found him having collapsed and died in the house. He was okay in the morning. I checked on him at around 11 a.m., unquote. Onyango's body was taken to Umash Funeral Home in Nakuru pending an autopsy. Onyango, who leaves behind a wife and three children, was a human rights activist specializing in environmental issues especially those regarding sexual exploitation in the workplace. According to Tuco, quote, he was involved in the petition by current and former workers of Ekaterra, formerly Unilever, and James Finlay's, operating in Vomit and Carriagechill counties, for the two companies to admit liability and exposing them to sexual exploitation by managers and supervisors." Unquote. On February 21st, the BBC published a documentary about supervisors and managers of James Finlay's Kenya and Ekaterra accused of demanding sexual favors from their female workers to obtain or retain their jobs. On hidden camera, John Chubachok a supervisor contracted to work for James Finlay's and his assistant also contracted to work with Finlay's manager John Asaba were seen soliciting sex for employment while on the job. Some of the female employees at Ekaterra and Finlay's claimed they had to offer their bodies to some of the supervisors and managers to keep their job. According to the Star, the management of James Finlay's stated that it, quote, immediately suspended the two individuals featured in the BBC investigation and barred them from all Finlay sites, unquote. Notwithstanding the dismissal of their two individuals, the Nation Media Group reports that more than 50 female former and current employees have formally requested that the two multinational tea companies admit responsibility or be sued. As reported by Tuco, none of the alleged victims has been asked to file a report with the police department since the expose. As stated by the Nation Media Group, attorney Gilbert Kimboy claims, quote, the women were subjected to rampant, repetitive, non-consensual sex that resulted in a high rate of HIV infection and that their families have been broken up as a result, unquote.